Okay, so this is what it looks like when you're having a breakdown in Texas. You still have to do your makeup because that would just be impolite not to. And uh, your hair, well, it's brushed and, you know, it's curled and kind of styled, but really just a ponytail because I can't deal. Um, overnight, my son did get a 104 degree fever and it has been spiking all day and night. And um, he has a confirmed infection and they will be keeping him for seven days. Um, so it's scary, you know, and if anyone that knows me personally knows that I lost someone that I love, loved very dearly to a non-classical Hodgkin's lymphoma. And um, I wasn't at his bedside the moment he passed. His sister called me and woke me up and said, he was gone. I'd seen him that morning. He was not gone, you know. I told her, no, I just saw him. She said, no, he's gone. And the boys and I went to the hospital and it was a traumatic experience. So I always have in the back of my brain that something very bad could happen. And so right now I'm kind of having a little mini breakdown but luckily, my mascara is waterproof. So if I cry my whole car ride to the hospital to go be with my little boobala, um, he won't know. <laughs> Hopefully, he won't know. Maybe he won't know. Probably he'll know. But usually, he's okay with me crying as long as it's not in front of him or strangers. So, um, yeah. I'm about to head up that way and go see my sick little one and uh, check in. And I'm just going to say that Philadelphia positive, free B cell, lymphoblastic leukemia can go eat a rotten egg because I hate it. Hate ya. But anyway, if anybody has any comments, wants to share what they're going through, has any questions, leave them below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks.